What's going on YouTube? Core Calisthenics back with another video and today we're going to be showing you guys advanced front lever. So if you guys haven't seen our last two front lever videos, we have an intermediate video and a beginner video. If you haven't seen it, turn this off, go back to the beginning, because you need to work on beginner and intermediate first. So today we're gonna be showing you guys more advanced versions of the beginner and intermediate workouts. Uh, we're gonna be showing you weighted pull-ups, front lever raises plus ice cream makers, regular front lever raises plus a negative, and advanced tuck pull-ups plus a negative. Let's get into it. All right guys, so if you're up to this advanced front lever video and you haven't started doing weighted calisthenics, one, I don't know how you made it here in the first place, but you should definitely start doing weighted calisthenics. We have a video on the benefits of weighted calisthenics. You should definitely check that out. But if you're doing advanced front lever, the goal should be able to do about five reps with 60% of your body weight. For example, I'm about 150 pounds, so 60% of my body weight would be 90 pounds. I'm gonna show you a few reps with that now. And when you do these, you wanna do them a little wider so you can target the terrace minor on the outside of your lat here. As you guys have already seen already in the intermediate video, we did intermediate front lever raises, intermediate ice cream makers, and then I showed you the combination of both. Since this is an advanced video, we're gonna do the combination, but in a full front lever raise and a full ice cream maker. So since our legs are gonna be fully extended now, you wanna make sure that your core doesn't drag behind. You wanna have the posterior pelvic tilt and squeeze your abs with your rib cage down so everything stays connected and moves as one. So you can do front lever raises alone as well. There's a lot of variation when it comes to front lever raises though. You can go straight from the bottom to halfway. You can go from the bottom all the way up, or you can just go to the middle up, that one being the hardest. So you can do this in a straddle position or a one leg position. From the intermediate video, we showed you an advanced, so I would start with straddle or one leg first. You wouldn't go right into full. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like first, and then we're gonna show you full as well. So, and the straddle position, you can go here. That is your most simplistic one. If you want to make it a little harder for yourself, you can do full front lever raises. All the way up, all the way down. Nice and slow negative. And if you're super advanced, make it as hard as possible. Start here. We're up. Come back down. So like I said, you could do this with the straddle position, you could do it with one leg, and you could even do it with a band. For example, if you're in between advanced tucked and straddle, maybe you wanna use a band and start doing straddle until you don't need the band anymore. So it gives you a little bit of assistance until you gain some strength and you don't need it. So even more advanced than straddle and one leg is half leg. I'll show you what this looks like here. You're gonna go here and always lead with your hips. It's the biggest thing when doing a front lever. That's what's gonna really build your core. Always remember to control the negative on the way down. It's just as important. You're really strengthening those muscles and it's gonna help your positive emotion. All right, guys, so if you can do half leg, you can do straddle, you can do one leg, you start doing full ones. Super difficult, but start from the bottom, go to halfway. Once you start doing that for a few reps, then go full ones. And once you can do that, then you go down halfway, come back up. I'll show you what it looks like.
right guys, so like in the intermediate video, our final workout is going to be front lever pulls. We did an advanced tuck in the intermediate video. Now we're gonna do an advanced tuck as well, but you're gonna do a negative on whatever progression you're on. So if you did, if you're able to do the advanced tuck, then maybe you wanna go negative straddle. I'll show you what that looks like. Now as you get stronger and stronger, maybe you can do full straddle pulls. You can do one leg pulls. Just keep it, keep changing it up, do the variety, do all of them, it can't hurt to do. And eventually you can get full front lever pulls. That's the end goal. All right guys, that is it for our front lever series. We have beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Obviously you're gonna start from the beginner video. If you can already do those progressions, jump right into the intermediate, but don't skip steps. You wanna do each video to the best of your ability to get comfortable doing all the moves and hop into the advanced and you guys know what the end goal is, full front lever pulls. Follow the steps and I promise you get there. Like always, follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok, <laughs> comment what you want the video next to be about. That didn't make any sense. The video next to be about. Yeah. <laughs> comment what you want the next video to be about. We'll be happy to make it for you and we'll see you guys in the next one.